We live in a universe composed of particles and fields that are in a perpetual dance of motion and interaction. This cosmic ballet can be explained through the concept of waves and vibrations. Every vibration that reverberates through the cosmos carries a unique frequency, a measure of its cyclical repetition per unit time. From the light we see, the sounds we hear, and the electromagnetic radiation that surrounds us, vibrations and waves are all around us, shaping the world we live in. Moreover, our planet Earth possesses a natural frequency of vibration, the awe-inspiring Schumann resonance, pulsating at an electrifying 7.83 Hz, which is rumored to have a hand in synchronizing the biological rhythms of life on Earth. But that's not all our bodies can resonate with the very pulse of the planet. When standing, the human body naturally resonates at a breathtaking 7.53 Hz, which is remarkably close to the Earth's human resonance. The human body is a symphony of vibrations, with cells, tissues, and organs each producing their own unique frequencies. Did you know that the cells in our body vibrate at different frequencies, and that this can reveal important information about our health? Scientists have discovered that healthy cells vibrate within a range of 62 to 68 megahertz, while cells that are affected by illness or disease can have much lower frequencies. For example, the frequency of cancer cells has been measured to be as low as 42 megahertz, indicating a significant drop in vibrational energy. This means that by measuring the frequencies of cells in our body, we can potentially identify healthy cells and those that may be affected by illness or disease. Studies have shown that positive emotions like love, joy, gratitude, and compassion can produce high-frequency vibrations in the body, leading to relaxation, emotional regulation, and improved health outcomes. On the other hand, negative emotions like fear, anger, and anxiety have been shown to produce lower frequency vibrations and lower heart rate variability, leading to stress and detrimental effects on physical and mental health. But fear not. Mindfulness practices, meditation, and deep breathing exercises have been shown to promote the production of high frequency vibrations in the body. It is time to let our body's symphony play the most beautiful notes and feel the positive vibes. Did you know that your heart generates its own electromagnetic field that can extend several feet away from your body? But that's not all, this field is also influenced by your emotions, and can, in turn, affect the emotions and well-being of those around you. In fact, studies have shown that emotions like love and gratitude create a more harmonious heart rhythm pattern, while negative emotions like anger and fear lead to an erratic and disordered pattern. Dr. David Hawkins, an American psychiatrist, spiritual teacher, and author who dedicated his life to exploring the mysteries of consciousness, created a groundbreaking system of consciousness calibration, which he called the Map of Consciousness. He measured the levels of consciousness associated with various human emotions, thoughts, and behaviors. Through a process of muscle testing, he calibrated each level on a scale that ranges from 0 to 1000, and discovered that each level is associated with a specific frequency range, with the higher levels corresponding to increasingly elevated frequencies. It is a revolutionary discovery that has the potential to transform the way we understand the nature of consciousness and its role in human behavior. Every single thing in the universe, including human emotions and thoughts, has an energy frequency that can be measured. The scale of consciousness that ranges from 0 to 1000 measures the frequency of different emotions, states of being, and levels of consciousness. The higher the frequency, the more positive and life-affirming the emotion or state of being, and the lower frequencies correspond to negative emotions and states of being. Higher frequencies on this scale indicate more positive and life-affirming emotions and states, such as love, joy, and peace, which range from 500 to 600. On the other hand, emotions like desire, shame, guilt, and fear fall on the lower end of the scale, with frequencies ranging from 20 to 200, while anger and pride fall in the middle range, with frequencies ranging from 200 to 400. 
The frequency associated with enlightenment and transcendence is at the highest level of consciousness, which is calibrated at 1000 on the map of consciousness. This level is the one of pure consciousness and bliss, where the ego is transcended and a deep sense of oneness with all of creation is experienced. Enlightenment is the ultimate goal of spiritual growth and development, attainable through practices such as meditation, prayer, and contemplation. The glimpses of this elevated state of consciousness can be experienced by individuals. Desires can produce low frequencies in the body. They stem from feelings of insufficiency, and a sense of lacking completeness. Our focus on what we lack or what we feel is absent from our lives, can create negative emotions such as insecurity, dissatisfaction, and even anxiety. Delving deep into the human psyche, we can uncover a startling truth. Negative emotions can cause us to feel separated from the world, leading to a sense of disconnection and isolation. But there is hope. By focusing on positive emotions such as gratitude, appreciation, and contentment, we can elevate ourselves to higher frequencies such as love, joy, and peace. These emotions lead to a sense of connection and oneness with others and the universe, creating a feeling of fulfillment and well-being. The wisdom of the ages also points us towards this truth. The Vedas, revered as sacred texts in Hinduism, contain teachings that speak of a universal energy that binds everything in the universe together. This energy, known as prana or life force, is said to flow through all living beings and inanimate objects, connecting them in a web of divine oneness. Spirituality teaches us that the positive emotions, with high frequency vibrations such as compassion, generosity, and gratitude, are inextricably linked with virtues that promote harmony and balance both within and outside of oneself. These emotions are believed to be the purest expression of the soul and in perfect alignment with the divine nature of the universe. However, negative emotions with low frequencies are seen as dangerous vices that disrupt the balance of the individual, and the harmony of the world. Greed, anger, and jealousy are considered to be expressions of the ego, the lower self that is at odds with the divine nature of the universe. According to Buddhism, desire with very low frequency is a powerful force that can lead us astray from our true nature. The Bible also warns us of the dangers of desire and urge us to seek a higher, more spiritual path to fulfillment, and inner peace. To overcome these negative emotions and cultivate positive ones, we must eliminate low-frequency vibrations of the body and increase the high-frequency ones in order to align with the universal energy or consciousness, and attain spiritual liberation or enlightenment. And there are ways to do this. Through the use of meditation, yoga, and chanting, one can tap into this energy and raise their own vibrational frequency, achieving a greater state of awareness and spiritual growth. Also alternatively you can subscribe our channel for more enlightenment. Thanks for watching. Please do like share and subscribe.